Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. Today we are doing a fun May favorites. It's quarantine, it's kind of the start of summer, not very much makeup is being worn, but I do have a decent amount of products that I've been wearing daily. I mean, I'm not wearing makeup daily, let's be honest. But when I am putting makeup on, this is what I'm putting on. So let's just jump right in. So my first product that I've been wearing I'd say almost daily um, is the Clinique Pep Start. This is a daily UV protector and it has a broad spectrum of SPF 50 in it. I really do enjoy this moisturizer slash sunscreen. Um, it feels like it moisturizes my skin well and it doesn't leave me oily and greasy and it doesn't break up my makeup. The only thing I have against it is that it does leave a little bit of a white cast on my face because it has such a high SPF in it. But Nine times out of ten, if I'm wearing that, I'm going to put a little bit of makeup over the top anyways, and it cancels out kind of like the white washout, I guess, um, and so it doesn't really end up bugging me very much, but I really, really do enjoy this. Every summer, I battle with trying to find an SPF moisturizer because, yes, I used to only wear SPF in the summer on my face, but now I do it all the time, but I used to battle, and they were always super, super greasy, or they would break up my makeup really bad, but this product so far i mean i've been using it for a couple months now um hasn't done any of that and it doesn't break me out which some spfs break me out really bad um hence some of these breakouts because when we went camping last weekend i took a different i just used like a face spf um and i didn't bring this with me and i learned my lesson so yes it does not break me out hopefully it wouldn't break you out either um i think i'm just gonna like there's no rhyme or reason for the products that I'm going to be grabbing. So I'm just going to, whatever's next to me, I'm going to grab next. Um, my next product that I've been using a lot, I haven't really been wearing foundation at all. But if I am, I've been picking up this product. This is from Sugar Rush. It's the Skin Treat. It's a blurring skin tint. I have it in shade medium and shade light medium. Um, these also have an SPF of 20 in them. And so what I've been doing is for the light medium, putting more so in the center of my face and the medium kind of on the outside of my face. But I've really been sharing it out. It has a decent amount of coverage to it for being a skin tint. Um, but I'm not looking for tons of coverage. I don't wear tons of coverage anyways, but especially in the summertime and the warm months, I don't want heavy coverage. And so I've been putting it on and then sharing it out with a beauty blender and it's been like absolutely stunning. Um, if I am wearing a concealer, sometimes I'll just use a concealer as my foundation, just a spot conceal. I didn't grab it this time because it's not the only one I've been grabbing, but nine times out of 10, I grab my NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer, I think it's called, but I go back and forth on concealers, and so that's why I didn't like specifically put one in this video today. Um, the next product that I've been using way more than I ever anticipated using is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is um, kind of like a cream highlight almost. This is by the brand uh, Charlotte Tilbury, I guess I should say, and I have it in shade 3 Light Medium. This is, since I've bought this, I haven't even had to put it away because that's how often I use it. I keep it out on my desk and I use it every single time I put makeup on. It has a nice big doe foot applicator and I just put it on and then I blend it out and it just leaves the most beautiful shine. I am obsessed with this. I put it on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, above my forehead, especially when I'm just doing light coverage makeup. I really enjoy a dewy light coverage makeup when you have a nice tan going on. And so I've been using this product a lot, a lot. Um, keeping in, I guess, the cream realm. I also picked up three blushes from Fenty Beauty, um, Rihanna's brand, which, hello, everybody knows that. Um, I have never tried cream blushes before, and I picked these up, and I'm gonna have to pick up all the other shades. Let me get them open real quick, and i show you, and I'll show you the shades I got. Um, this one kind of surprised me the most as being one of my favorites. This is Cool Berry. It is a nice plum shade the thing i like most about these shades is that they blend out really really well and they um, are a little bit more sheer so though this color might look a little bit more intimidating it's definitely doable i also picked it up in strawberry drip 
which I love this shade. Like very, very little goes a long way. And they blend out absolutely beautiful, like I said. And then the last one I picked up is Petal Poppin'. And this is, oh, look at this. is probably out of the three, this is like my most wearable shade. Um, and it is beautiful. They're very creamy. They set down very, very nice. They blend amazingly. You can't really mess up. That's the one thing I was always worried about cream products is that I didn't know what I was doing, but you blend it away and you're good to go. Um, the whole reason I got in to cream blushes was because of this bad boy. This is by Tarte. This is Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. Let's see if it'll show up for you there. I can't tell. Yeah, we'll see. Um, this is a cream bronzer and I love this. It's super balmy. Like the blushes, it blends beautifully and it is the perfect color. Look, I got a cream highlights, cream bronzer, cream blushes. Can you see what I'm obsessed with at the moment? Um, this product is amazing. I absolutely love it. All of them sit on the face so well. They don't break up. They don't move around on me too much once I set them down. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna set it down with a powder anyways, but there's been a few times when I've just put the products on and nothing else, and they have stayed put as well as they can for being a cream product. Um, I really, really do enjoy them. Next up from Too Faced, I have the Turn Up the Light. Um, it's, kind of, what is it, a complex enhancing highlighting palette. I picked it up in the shade Medium. So we have Glow, Soft Focus, and Dazzle. Soft Focus is a shade that reminds me a lot of, um, I'll put it on the center of my hand since the other side is covered. It doesn't even show up that that much. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Ambient Light or the Ambient Glow by Hourglass. And then we have Glow, which is a super, super blinding highlight. And Dazzle, which out of the three is definitely my least favorite. I'll put it right here on top. It is definitely a little bit more gritty and it has a lot more loose glitter in it. Um, it does... Those are the three different ones right there because these ones aren't working well for us. Um, it definitely is my least favorite out of the three. This one I like to set kind of like wherever I'd put my highlight, like my light highlighter, like my concealer, I guess is what I'm saying. I'll put that here, 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 and then I'll use this as a highlight. And then, I mean, I might... I don't really like this one. It's super gritty um, and it's kind of chunky, but these two are really smooth and these two definitely make this product worth it for me. Um, a next product I have talking about powders is this from Real Techniques. I don't actually remember what it's called. It's their velvet sponge. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't get it wet when I use it and I only use it for powders and I use it like when I'm setting my under eye or when I'm baking or just trying to put a decent amount of powder on, this goes a long way and it really clings to the powder and then really deposits on your face really, really well and I really enjoy this. And it's real techniques and so it's definitely like budget friendly and it works phenomenally. Also, I have from Beauty Counter, um, not also, because this is the only Beauty Counter product, but also in the May favorites, I have from Beauty Counter, um, it is a brow gel in the shade Medium. This is all I have on my brows right now. Um, it's super easy to use. I mean, it's a typical brow gel. I just really, it's got the nice little doe foot to it. I really enjoyed the shade. I really enjoy the product itself. It sits down really nice. I don't have to do anything else to it. I spoolie my brows out, put it on, spoolie my brows again, and then just clean up with a Q-tip and this is what we're left with. And the only reason I have to go back in with a Q-tip is because I'm kind of messy with it. Like if I took my time, we, they would be perfect without it. But it doesn't bug me to go back in and clean it up real quick and I really enjoy that product. So this is the last one. Oh, last but not least, we have from Glow Recipe the Lip Pop. It's a lip balm, um, which all their products, or at least in this line, um, are watermelon scented. And I love this so much. It looks like a lipstick. It's super mm, hydrating. Smells amazing. It's like lip smackers, but for adults. And I just, 
just I just love the tint and the sheer pink that it leaves on the lips it just gives you a little pop of color a little sheen it lasts for a long time and like I said it smells amazing but it's not overpowering and it feels amazing on the lips this is probably one of my favorite lip balms that I've ever purchased and it makes it so I want to try more things from this line because I enjoy this so so much for a lip balm it is a little spendy but my lips have never felt better I try to drink a lot of water but even then I still get really really chapped lips usually in the winter no in the summer months because I spend so much time outside and so far it hasn't been an issue for us granted it's only June but we've been spending a lot of time outside during quarantine so I really really do enjoy this product but yes that is it sadly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve products but I don't even wear this much makeup on a daily basis so I mean like right now I have like six products on my face and that's about it so thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe 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 and I'll catch you in my next one also if you saw me looking up a lot it's because this is a new setup and I have a viewfinder that's in a different spot and it's taking me a while to get used to staring not staring at it but I know I stared at it a lot so we're getting there we're getting better Alright guys, bye.